What's up guys, it's the Swingman here back with another upload. Today, what we're gonna talk about is how professional baseball players warm up and why are they so consistent at what they do. Okay, so this is a very overlooked part of hitting is our consistency and how we get loose to set ourselves up for uh, a great day, okay? So basically there's a couple things we gotta keep in mind. Uh, when it comes to making solid, consistent contact, it involves two things mostly, and that is a good bat path and our eyes being still, okay? So we can't have our head moving around and we gotta make sure we develop a bat path that is effective. So, and by bat path, we mean we wanna keep this part of the barrel on this pitch line as long as possible. So if that's the pitch right there, I wanna make sure that my barrel gets there here and follows through all the way on that line. So that's what we call a good bat path. How do we set that up? Just a little backstory as far as who I've been able to watch and spend time hitting. Uh, I got to play in the Orioles organization with guys like Christian Walker, uh, Manny Machado, and uh, Ty Kelly. Uh, and uh, basically I played in an all-star game with Jackie Bradley Jr., Travis Shaw, Xander Bogarts, a lot of great hitters in the game today. So. Uh, I got to spend a lot of time in the cage and try to pick their brains and basically that's what I'm going to pass on to you guys right now. So first off, when we are taking our first swings of the day, obviously you want to stretch out, you want to get loose. But we always start out hitting balls the other way and there's a reason to that, okay? So it might sound very cliche, but the reason why is because of bat path. So in order for me to hit balls the other way consistently, I have to stay inside the ball. So I wanna focus on the top inner half of the ball. So if this is the ball on the tee, I'm focusing on this top inner quadrant. And I'm focusing on driving the ball towards the second baseman if I'm a ready, towards the shortstop if I'm a lefty. So that's how I'm gonna start my rounds. So after I take my, my rounds there, now guys are different, you know? Essentially, it's the same idea. It's the same angles we want to work. Some guys like to do one-hand drills. All right, and then some guys like to do heavy bat drills. So this is a 40 ounce bat, by the way. All right, so, so again, the whole idea is to set up our bat path, okay? We wanna stay inside the ball. So after we do one round, maybe two rounds, depending on how you're feeling that day, if you need extra rounds, now we could start moving that tee. So now, instead of starting up the middle with the probability of getting around the ball, now I've already made that adjustment with driving the ball the, the other way. And now I'm gonna start driving the ball up the middle properly. Pitcher's dead. As we move that tee around, we could start moving it inside as well. But same thing, we don't want to get around the ball. We still want to develop that bat path to where we're working inside the ball. Okay? So just to show you the difference between getting around the ball and staying inside, if I get around the ball, it's going to look like this. Okay. See that barrel gets out around that pitch line, which this is my pitch line. This is where that pitch is coming in. So now instead of that, I want to keep my hands inside here and keep that barrel on that plane as long as possible. So to show you the two swings and the differences, this would be getting around the ball. And this would be staying inside the ball. Again, it's, it's about developing a bat path and we work off about an 80% effort. We don't wanna go all out swinging right away. We wanna build ourselves to there. We wanna get that heart rate up. We wanna make sure we get that blood flowing before we start letting loose. Now when we get warmed up to a point where we can start letting loose, 
we developed the bat path to now we understand where we got to accelerate on the proper path. If we never develop that path, then we're going to be accelerating all over the place. We're going to lose barrel control. All right. And it's all about that barrel. We got to catch barrel. So it's basically like, you know, going full bore in a train without putting it on the tracks first. That's how I like to look at it. So I want to make sure my swing is on track. So just to give you a little, a quick little warm up session, I'll give you two swings at each point, um, the way I used to warm up. Two hands, no stride. Heavy bat with the stride. Normal bat with the stride. Now I'm going to work up the middle with my normal bit. And then lastly, I like to work up and in. Because I have the tendency, when I see pitches up in the zone, my body comes up. So now I'm going to elevate that tee, keep my head level down, and let the elevation create launch angle. So there you go. That's a basic warm-up routine. Again, starting away, get that bat path set first before we start tuning it up and uh, set yourself up for a good day.